it's Rain here at Mild Domestic Church. I wanted to do a video today about intermittent fasting. So today is two weeks at intermittent fasting and I wanted to share how it's been, what's been going on with it, a little bit of why I started and all of that good stuff. So the first thing I wanna say is that I've lost, I think two pounds. I know a lot of people wanna know that answer, but my main focus is not weight loss right now. So to give you a little bit of a history, uh, I'll try to do timestamps below to help you guys if you just want to like skip to what's what you're interested in. But to give you a little bit of history, so I lost 80 plus pounds over four years and then I started having a lot of like hormonal issues and just a lot of like depression and all kinds of stuff and I realized I had lost a ton of muscle, which I am going to be 40 this upcoming year. So, you know, building muscle and keeping muscle is really, really important. So. I started to gain back a little bit of weight just to kind of get some meat back on my bones. I started going to the gym and I gained about 20 pounds back. So I'm gonna talk about numbers right now. If you don't wanna hear about it, you can just skip a little bit. But I started at 240 and my goal was 140. I was gonna do a 100 pound weight loss. I am five, seven and a half. I, you know, my doctor thought it was fine and I was gonna do that. So like my doctor thought it was fine for me to be losing the weight. So I lost, I got down to 154 pounds. And at that point I was having back spasms. I was anxious all the time. I was really struggling uh, physically, but emotionally and mentally. And so that's when I kind of decided I needed to make a change. I also found out around that time that I had Hashimoto's. I had been, I've had hypothyroidism for over, 14, around 14 years that at least was diagnosed. And so just to be able to lose that weight was a big deal. But anyway, so I was struggling a lot. So I gained back those 20 pounds. I was starting to feel better. And then I had a big thing happen where I had to go to the, I had to go to the ER and I was in the ICU for three days. And I've shared a little bit about that on this channel, but during my recovery time, that was in July, during my recovery time, my doctor was like, I just want you to eat nourishing foods and you need to eat. Your body needs food. I was instructed to get off of all my uh, supplements, no protein powder. My liver was having a hard time with my recovery. And so I needed to just eat whole nourishing foods. So I ate that and I ate a lot. I gained 20 pounds really fast. And so at this point now I have lost, you know, 84 pounds or 86 pounds. And now I have gained back 40 of those pounds or 41 or something like that. But I just realized that I needed to do something because the weight was just gonna keep coming rapidly on. And I needed to still eat nourishing foods and just eat regular foods. And my doctor also wanted me to focus on my mental health being like, you need to just eat with your family. You need to just not put a lot of pressure on yourself. She wanted me to just not eat tons of gluten or dairy. Like if I had to have a little bit, I've decided a little bit's okay, but she was like, I really want you to stay away from those things as best you can. So I started to look for some type of a program that I could eat that was not going to stress me out, that was going to be very balanced and nourishing. And I just really couldn't find anything that I felt was that fit the bill. I also wanted to be able to just eat with my family. And if we were going to go out and get a treat, I wanted to just eat with my family and not feel stressed. And so enter an intermittent fasting. <laughs> I started reading this book, Fast, Feast, and Repeat. I got on Audible and I also have a physical copy and it has been so helpful. I want to share with you guys a lot of the books that I've been like pulling from. Uh, now, real quick, I want to say about intermittent fasting, this has been a wonderful choice for me, a wonderful choice. I am now on week two and I feel like I literally haven't changed anything except for not having so much stomach problems because I have less food in the evening, less food in the morning, and it's just it's just a very relaxed way of doing things. I can also switch it up. So if I need to eat something more in the morning, uh, I can switch my eating window. If I need to be eating later at night, if we're gonna be going in to do something as a family, I can change my eating window. It's really, really great and I really like it. And I would highly recommend this book. 
I, I'm going to be finishing up this one and I have a couple of other ones so that I got different books for this time process. So I will share that with you. But first, before I do that, I just wanted to say I'm reading this book. It's two weeks. I've lost two pounds, which again, is not my focus because she does say that you need to give it like six to eight weeks for your body to really just kind of acclimate and everything. Uh, but I want to share with you some of the stuff that I've been eating. I haven't been really good about taking tons of pictures, but I'm going to put pictures and videos in here of anything I have over the last two weeks you can kind of see. So I wanted to show you all what I'm doing for my uh, coffee in the morning. So I got these really cute little mugs from uh, the Pioneer Woman. They come in a little stack and this is my absolute favorite. Isn't that just the sweetest? Uh, okay, so I put two uh, roughly teaspoons of stevia. And then I got this pumpkin spice. I love this nut pods these the nut pods they're like amazing they're unsweetened and dairy free so i just got the almond coconut creamer and then i've been using the french vanilla creamer and mixing with the starbucks pumpkin spice latte creamer and then um vanilla uh unsweetened oat milk it's so good so this is what i do i put in the oat milk about that I'm trying to make it like a latte and then I put just a smidge of this. It does have sugar. I try not to have too much sugar. It's probably like a tablespoon. And then over that. And then some of that. While the coffee is finished brewing, I'm going to show you the rest of the mugs. This is okay. It's not only my favorite, but the flower one down here and the yellow one are my favorite. My husband just bought a... Mini Cooper, use Mini Cooper. He's uh, kind of just fixing up to have his everyday um, car. But anyway, he buys these cars and he's fixing them up and he always finds stuff in them. So he found all of these beautiful bowls. He asked if I wanted them and some serving dishes. And then this was there, is that just so sweet? And then these were in there too. The bigger one, the smaller one, so I like those. And then I found this at a thrift store. We're in Florida now, so it says, May you always have a shell in your pocket and sand in your toes. Isn't she precious? She's a sand angel. So the kids' bathroom um, the theme is going to be the beach. And so I think I'm going to put her in there as I start to slowly decorate their bathroom. And this is just, you know, everyday mess. <laughs> like goggles. A little bit of color for the fall. So I have these here. These here at the table. I'm trying to add a little pop for fall. So I put these sunflowers here. And then my... Um, Two of my kids made these little plants in a homeschool group. And then I found this teapot. Uh, I think it was like TJ Maxx or something and I could not not get it. So sweet. Back to the coffee. I spilled stevia on the counter. <laughs> anyway. So I then I just, oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Like a homemade latte. I bought a big robe, by the way, from Sam's recently. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so cozy. Just to show you my robe, we took pictures in front of the full moon and I look so funny, but I love the robe. Okay, so I do like to have coffee with these things I get from Publix, they're so good. And then I had this from Panda Express. They have a vegan orange chicken, if you did not know. So I got that with some noodles. And then these are the dumplings, they're also vegan. They're very yummy. And then just to show you, like sometimes I have a little bit of ice cream with a little bit of syrup on top and it's okay. It was delicious. And then here I am at the gym. Just thought I'd add this in there too, that it's important to work the muscle. Now I'm gonna show you stuff I've been doing. We put together our fairy garden, and then I, I glued all of these together for fall, and I've just had so much energy to do so many things. Okay, so that's basically what I've been having roughly. I wanna give you a picture of what the day looks like. Every day is a little different, but it's kind of, there are kind of some things that stay the same. So every morning I wake up, and I take my armor thyroid medication in the morning and or whenever, like about an hour before I'm gonna be eating. And then once that eating window opens, sometimes it's 9.30, sometimes it's 10.30, sometimes it goes all the way till one, depending on what I'm wanting to do. But I've added coffee back in to my way of eating and it's been so nice. I have decaf coffee and I showed you some of the pictures, some of the things that I've been using for that. I think I even did a video on how I make my coffee. And then I love these. I get them from Publix. They are so good. They have a healthy option that's not vegan and they have another one that is vegan and I like the vegan option. So 
I have these and this whole container is 360 calories. So I just have it. I break my fast most, most mornings with this right here. Uh, they have a great combination of fats and carbohydrates and they're just really yummy. And, and then I use this after that I have my coffee and then I'll have either something like this or I have my big green fruit smoothie. And then as the day continues, I will eat whatever we're kind of having for lunch. I really love these up here. I don't know if I have a picture of them from before, but I'll put them here. They're like a dumpling, a vegan dumpling, and they're so good. I have allowed myself a little bit of dairy here and there, and I don't eat much meat. I just don't prefer it. If I'm craving it like really bad, uh, my doctor wants me to eat it, so I'll eat meat, but normally I don't. And then I usually close up my eating window depending on the day. Some days it's 5, some days it's 7.30. There was one day where it was 8.30, and it just kind of depends. Uh, my, I've been tracking like every day of my fasting window and my eating windows, and I've done 19 and a half hours of fasting. I've done as low as 12. I've done 14, 16, 18, 17, just kind of all over, and just getting used to it. So it's, it's been a wonderful experience. And even though I've only lost two pounds on the scale, I do feel like my face is getting more slender and I have a lot of energy. I clean like the whole house on a Saturday. I've been like organizing and I have all these like fresh ideas. So I know my mind, there's a lot of clarity and yeah, and I have been working with my doctor with my mental health and it's been a huge blessing. So I did wanna add that, even though this is an intermittent fasting video, if anybody, if any of you are struggling with emotional or mental, you know, just instability or feeling like not so great in that area, please don't be afraid to talk to your doctor, find someone you trust and don't be afraid to get help with that, whether that's, you know, going to counseling, whether that's medication, like whatever you need to do, I just would really, I'm not a professional at all, but I just, as one mama to another, one wife to another, one woman to another, uh, or whoever's watching, I would just encourage you to not be afraid to take care of not only your physical health, but your mental health. Okay, so all my book lovers out here, if you're at all interested, I'm gonna share with you all the books that I have been reading. Now, I don't like to finish, I don't like to start and finish one book. I like to read tons of books at once. And I didn't even know this was a thing until I saw it on some YouTube video, but some people, they read tons of books at the same time. And then what happens with all this knowledge in your head, your brain starts piecing things together and you come up with like new ways that would work for you or your family. And I'm one of those people. So I was so excited to hear that there are people that do that because I always thought there was something wrong with me. So first I'll share with you my fasting books. Okay. So this is the main one, Fast, Feast, and Repeat. These are all by Jen Stevens. Um, fast with, or excuse me, feast without fear, food and the delay don't deny lifestyle. And then I have delay don't deny. And then I got this book to go with it. This is like a workbook and it goes with this book. And then I believe, I don't know if this is like, I think that like this came first and then this one. So I don't know, but I have these. And then this is not by the same author, that's Jen Stevens. And then this is a different one, very thin, but I wanted to get it because someone had recommended on a fasting channel I watch. And this is her channel right here. I will link all this in the description box below with the channels and stuff. But this one's called The Fast Five Diet and The Fast Five Lifestyle, a little book about making big changes. Just because I like the way she talked about this book and how it was like simple and helpful. And so I thought, well, this is nice and it has pretty big print. So it's not gonna be like a very long read. Okay, so now I have other books on like how I'm trying to eat like nourishing and healthy and all that kind of stuff and mostly predominantly uh, plant-based and some kind of, you know, not like vegan, but like kind of. So I got this book called, it's based on this man, um, Arnold, Professor Arnold Eretz, I'm gonna say it, Mucusless Diet Healing System. I got these books for my family because we, like a lot of people in my family, um, not just necessarily my husband, my children, but like in my family have had a lot of issues, gut issues. And so if, you know, I want to be knowledgeable about it. So I've been reading about this. And so if there are times where I need to take a break from maybe some other food and kind of go uh, just really clean for a while, I want to have that. So I've been, I've been reading this and listening to it on Audible. And this is like a, a, a study guide. It's like, wow, back in school, like you read the lesson and then you work through it. I also got Raw Vegan Not Gross. I guess she has a show on Netflix. And so I wanted to look at her book and then watch the show on Netflix. I don't know if it's still on there, 
So I got that book. These are all from eBay, so they were like super cheap. And then I have this, A Good Cook, 10 Talents, Natural Foods, A Diet from the Garden of Eden cookbook. And I really liked it because it's super organized. So I've been reading through like the part where she talks about why we eat this way or whatever. And then the back, there's lots of recipes with pretty colors and information about how to, how to use certain foods to the greatest like of their benefit or whatever. Plantifully Lean. I actually got this book a long time ago and then I ended up giving it away. And then I realized, you know, there are so many recipes in here that I, I, I have used. And so I, I got the book back, but it is really helpful. It has like a really good ranch recipe and everything in here is pretty much vegan. Uh, even though she's not vegan, it's just how she eats. She lost over 80 pounds. But like I said, that's not the main focus of what I'm doing right now. And then I got vegan intermittent fasting. This was like $4. And so I got it because I wanted to see what it was about. And it's actually really interesting. It teaches all about intermittent fasting. And then it goes into places about health and stretching. And then it, finally at the end, you have like some recipes. And so I thought it would be a good book to have on hand just for making different items. Now I have books that have been an encouragement to me. Most of these were so cheap on either eBay or at Ollie's, like so cheap, like $3. And I just wanted to have some things to encourage me. I just got this one in, so I haven't even started, but uh, I know a lot of people here are Catholic and I love Catholic books and Catholic authors. So this is not a Catholic author, but I love Joyce Meyer and I've had some, not like hate on this channel, but people have been like, I can't believe you, you know, but I, I love her, so she loves Jesus and I love her. But I got Battlefield of the Mind, but this packet, it was so inexpensive on eBay. It's the book, Battlefield of the Mind, a devotional, and then the study guide. And I have this book on Audible as well. So I have not pulled this out yet. I just received it, but at one point I'm going to, and I have all of it together and very excited. I have a couple of other Joyce Meyer books. This was um, uh, just some things like to, to pull some encouragement from as I go on this, you know, new walk. And I love large print. Like y'all don't even understand. I get really excited about large print. So I found, I dare you embrace life with passion and the secret to true happiness, which is kind of fun. And look at this large print. Oh my goodness. But I, I am turning 40 this year and I'm really have made huge changes in the last couple of months after I basically almost died. <laughs> and I, I, it's just changed everything for me. I feel so close to the Lord. Like he is sitting right next to me, even closer than I did before our lady. I, I keep my scapular on my miraculous metal. And I just, I, I don't know, things have changed. And I really, and I really just wanted to, you know, focus in and intermittent fasting has been a real blessing. I'm excited about it. Anyway, so then I found some other books that Ollie's are so cheap. This book I've gotten at the library so many times. I was like, okay, how many times are you going to get this? Just go ahead and get it. It was like, how much was it? It was $5.99. And I have bought, I have got this at the library so many times. So I went in and just got it. Satisfied. Finding hope, joy, and contentment right where you are. That's what I'm really focusing on. You know, it's like just look at these beautiful pictures. There's so many things in here. Now she's a young mom and I try not to read a lot of young mom stuff because I'm just at a completely different stage in my life. But I really do like this book and not to knock young moms. They, they can know things too that I don't know. And then I got Motherhood, The Six Truths of Motherhood, which is really pretty. It's like a, you read through it and there's places to journal and, you know, your thoughts and everything. And I thought this would be such a great thing because we basically have 13 years left if we don't have any more babies. And I don't think my body's doing that anymore. I don't think my body's able to have babies anymore. And so I really just want to embrace every bit of motherhood for the next 13 years. So I also got this one, The Answer to Anxiety, because like I said, I have really been working on my mental health. And then I don't know if I said this one, but uh, Praying Women. I saw her on Joyce Meyer, the show, and I love everything she talked about. And so I wanted to get her book. So these are books that I have just been pulling from and just letting myself grow. And, and I know this video started out as just intermittent fasting, but I wanted to share about just the whole process of growing in our lives, aging, continuing to develop, embracing right where we are, finding things that work for us. And for me, intermittent fasting has just, it's like just woven, I guess, right into my life in such a special, wonderful way. And I've really been enjoying it. And it doesn't feel at all like anything else I've done, like diet wise. Now I will say I have done, if you guys are still with me, I have done intermittent fasting and, oh, and I'm also uh, listening to Atomic Habits 
and a couple of other little books I have here I didn't even think about, but I read them each day, Overcoming Every Problem with Joyce Meyer, but it's underneath my camera to pop my camera up right now because it was right there. <laughs> oh, I can't show it to you. But anyway, I just, it popped up in my mind. I have done intermittent fasting in the past, but I didn't do it the proper way. And that's why this book is a gem, this one, because she talks about so many things, but she also talks about the clean fast. I never did that before. I was always adding things I guess I shouldn't have been adding and I didn't know it. But during my fasting time, I literally just have water. That's the only thing I have. And um, I do take a different medication in the evening at night, like before bed, but you can take medication while fasting, depending on what it is, but I can take that. And yeah, so anyway, so I just wanna share this video just about all this stuff and just really enjoying this process. So if any of you have tried intermittent fasting, I'd love to hear your story. I'd love to hear if, you know, like what's worked for you. Are there certain windows of fasting that have worked for you? I find that I'm really like right now, I've tried lots of different ones, but like today and yesterday, I'm really enjoying the 14 hour fast because I feel like that's what I need right now. We have a lot of things going on today. I have one of my children shadowing for the first time uh, for next year when he's gonna be going to school and just like a lot of emotional stuff. And so I'm really learning how to be tender and gentle with myself. And at the same time, when I'm ready and I'm like, I'm gonna push this and I feel ready for it, doing a longer fast and all of that. So I'd love to hear what works for you, what you found has like been something that you really enjoy. And if you've never tried it, if you're doing something else that's really working for you, I love when you guys share that as well. And then other people can go in the comments and they can read it and kind of feel encouraged. And I will say any negative comments or just kind of rude behavior, I'll just delete it because this is my channel. So I can decide. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all have a beautiful day. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like, and please share if you think this content would encourage any other mama. I'll talk with you all later. Bye. God bless.